No? You should try looking in the mirror sometime, because you're mean, Ian. You're shriveled up inside. <laughs> well, I know exactly who I am. I'm the business. I'm a success. I mean, look at this house. I've got a 40 grand motor outside, and look at you. What have you got, eh? What are you doing? You are a part-time barmaid, just drifting along. At least I've got friends, people who care about me. You've shafted Pauline, Mark, everyone around you. You know what you're talking about. Ian, you can't cheat everyone all the time and get away with it. Blah, blah, blah. It is old news, Mel. I have got nothing to do with you anymore. <sighs> yeah. And thank goodness for that. Because it's only so long a girl can get by on short portions. And I had more than my feel with you. What did you say? You heard. Now, if you've got something to say, you come back here and spit it out. Yeah, OK. I had the worst, most unsatisfying time of my life in this house. And the only reason I put up with it is because I thought you were a sweet guy. And I was wrong. You're just trying to hurt me. No, 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 it's true. In fact, by the end, Ian, I couldn't even bear to touch you. And you knew it. You still know it. You haven't got the faintest idea how to deal with a woman. Because in the end, you're just too selfish. And now you're with Steve? I suppose he gives you everything you want? Oh, yeah, he could if I let him. Well, if he ain't, why did he come around here begging for your divorce? Because oh, he's a friend. He cares about me. So he doesn't want you for himself? Yeah, well, there's that as well. And you know what, Ian? He is looking better by the minute. See you around. Give him my regards. I will. And make sure you ask him why I signed the divorce petition. I think you should know. What do you mean? Why don't you ask Steve? I'm sure he'll tell you. Hey, you made your mind up already? What? What did you say to him yesterday? How did you get him to sign that paper? I told you, didn't I? No, you didn't. And don't lie to me, Steve, because I've just been over there and Ian made it perfectly clear that something dodgy went on. What did he say? Just to answer the question. What? I'd like to know what I'm accused of first. No, how did you change his mind? It was nothing. You know, Ian's not stupid, is he? He knows when the game's up. Look, I simply said, that if he signs it, I owe him one. You know, he's got a favour to call him whenever he needs it. And that's it? <laughs> what else do you think it would be? Eh? Oh, come on. Ian's jealous. You know, he's winding you up. You know what? He gives you any more grief at all. You come and see me. Steve, I don't need looking after. You know what I mean. Do I? This whole thing, the divorce paper, the registry stuff, you're starting to remind me of him. Oh, thank you very much. Well, you can't just ask me to marry you. You've got to book it in, Steve. Yeah, but that was... That was because uh, I was scared you were going to say no. Well, I still could. Yeah, well, don't. No, I mean, I know it might seem like I'm playing games with you, but I'm not. I love you. Really? Absolutely. Well, and there's nothing else? Nothing you're not telling me? No. Now, are you going to believe? Hmm? Me or Ian? I'll let you know.